Uh, joined this time round by our midfield supremo. Uh, I'm going to call him the Beanie Man. For those of you that like your music, you might know who Beanie Man is, but it's Kenny Beanie, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Sam. How are you? Yeah, really well, mate. Really, really well. I'm uh, busy. I said, I said to you, didn't I, just off air, Hayden's keeping me really busy at the moment doing this sort of stuff, which is great because it's, it's brilliant and it's good output for the fans as well. It gives them a little insight to the players that are coming in, the ones that are staying as well. And a good opportunity yeah. for me to, to catch up with you guys because I missed a lot of it last season uh, from not being able to be there with my son and his football. So what have you been yeah. doing with yourself sort of in between the season starting? So I, t- towards the end of the season, I got injured, didn't I? So mm. I kind of, towards the end of the season, I got my fitness back, was able to start training. So I've kind of started my pre-season early. So I've been trying to rehab everything I've been doing. So that's what I've been doing, just trying to catch up really and then so when i come into pre-season i'm ready to go and fit brilliant um, so how did you get injured because uh, i mean i must admit I, I sometimes the communication from the club is a little bit slow and i, I sort of heard on the grapevine that you'd been injured but i didn't know how and, and what the injury was so what, what do you do so basically i got tackled on my left hand side of my of my left knee and i just took a, a hefty whack in my knee and at first, everyone thought I had a crack in my leg, and they couldn't find the crack. And then I went to see a, like a specialist, and he gave me the all clear. So it was just kind of more of a bruise, trying to let that heal. But it takes time—a bruised bone. So it just took mm. time. So um, what have you been doing to keep yourself fit then? I've been doing a lot of running, swimming, um, just bits of everything, boxing. Uh, yeah, a bit of everything. To be honest. Yeah. Boxing is that for when we play Dawkin? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I love being there. <laughs> so we love Dawkins. I'm only joking. We've got a really good relationship. Despite what the fans think, we have actually got a, re- a very, very good relationship with, Daw- with no. Dawkins. So you're looking yeah. forward to the season? Yeah, can't wait to get started, to be honest. I've kind of missed it because obviously I got injured yeah. uh, towards the end of the season. So I was uh, chomping at a bit to go, but I'm ready. I'm going to be ready this season. How, how many games did you it. miss? Do you know? Uh, I think it was five or six. Mm. Maybe yeah, five or six. It's at end of um end of the season so running. Mm. The boys done really well to be fair. Yeah, um, absolutely. Towards the end of the season. Yeah, so I mean, you, that you, so sorry, you came in around about halfway through the season. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Made quite a bit of an impact, didn't you? Uh, in and around Christmas at the Walton game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm going to talk, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about that, okay, because that's another yeah. one that, that Ryan's put up on TikTok that's had yeah. lots and lots of views, which is brilliant. That's what we yeah. wanted to do. So tell me, is that a speciality of yours, taking penalties with both feet? No, to be honest, I, uh, I have done it before, hmm. but um, I wasn't going to do it, but the goalie was kind of giving it a chatter, so I thought I'm going to just... Show him with the left foot. Eight. Can he cause not to here on Boxing Day? Steps up slowly and slots it. Posted in. Bottom left hand corner. Liam unable to get down there in time. And it's 1 0 to Leatherhead. Well, the Swans once again are going to have to come from behind. Yeah, visitors taking the lead here. Visitors number eight, Kenny Beanie stepping up for his second penalty of the day. Slow run up on his left foot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out of the reach of Liam Allen. And it's 2-0 to yeah. the visitors. So that was a good game. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was a very good game. Yeah, yeah. very good game. Really pl- please, that was one of the games I actually had a chance to come and see, which is, is I was really, really happy. And what a great game it was. And a thoroughly deserved win as well. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I feel like when we were on... We were on our game. I think we could beat any team in this league. And, um, yeah, I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think we just need to concentrate on what we do. Mm. And I think it would take care of itself. Yeah, I've been talking to all the other players and doing these interviews. And you know what? You know, we had a slow start to the season. Hayden came in and it took him some time to really find his form in terms of how he was, well, not his form as such, but how he was going to play with what players playing where. He, obviously, he's got his style that he likes to play. But he's got yeah. to make sure he's got the players that can play and adapt to that style. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. But when we started to hit that form, I have to say, we were a little bit unstoppable at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think you're right. Um, and the, f- the funny thing is, I've played with Hayden's teams before, and the football we were playing last year wasn't really up to par of what he expects. So I feel like there's a lot more to come. Um, 
yeah, uh, there is a lot more to come. Well, on that though, so so for those that weren't at the, we held a, a Q and A with Hayden, and yeah. someone, one of the fans, brought up um, the subject of trying to get the ball quicker from the first third to the third third, um, and saying that the fan was, you know, giving his criticism, which he's allowed to yeah. do, saying yeah. that we're a little bit slow sometimes at getting the ball forward, and we're passing sideways a lot, and then we're trying to. Uh, go back again and part, you know, recycle is what they call it, isn't it, in football? Yeah. Um, and Hayden, fair play to him. You know, he came out and he said, look, I, this is how I play football. This is how I want to play football. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get from the first phase to the third phase, but that's how we're going to do it. All I've got to make sure and make sure I do is that I've got players that are capable of playing that style of football and that type of football. And you can yeah. see where some of those players have improved and improved and improved. And, of course, you coming into the team mid-season, um, we could see that you are a key playmaker in the middle of that park where you're yeah. dropping in to pick the ball up from the back line or from the goalkeeper, spinning and then playing it out and playing through yeah. that second third. Yeah. Yeah, Aiden's... Well, we ain't allowed to kick it long. That's what we get told. So the fans, they all know that we ain't allowed to kick it long. It's not our fault. It's Hayden's fault. So you can blame him. But that's the way we play. We play through the lines. We play good football. Um, we ain't a typical non-league team that go back to front. And and that's why I like playing with Hayden. I think his philosophy is, is the key for his team to do success. Not, not individual players. I feel the philosophy will make the team be better than individual players or brilliant. So, yeah, yeah I think the fans, the fans just got to get used to used to us the way that we play and the way mm. the team's going to play, and I, I, I think they'll enjoy it. I think the problem is, mate. I think it's actually the reverse. I think they're used, they're so used to the other yeah. way of play. Where let's face it, in non-league football, and it's a, a big, it's been a big learning curve for my son as well. who we came from an academy into non-league. Um, where they don't necessarily play out from the back, and it is get the ball up top as quick as you can. So the yeah. fans, to be fair to them, they probably that's what they were expecting because that's what they've watched for some time now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually non-league teams, a big man up front, mm. play off him and then uh, build from there in the final third. But now we don't do that. We've got we've got Dave Tarpey. His attributes ain't. Uh, his head, even though he scores good goals with his head, but he's fell with his feet. So we and tried he, to use that. Yeah, and he certainly can't be described as a big man up top, can he? No, exactly. Yeah, exactly. as good as he is. Yeah, big character. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. So thoughts on last season? I know obviously you came in halfway through the season with us. And what was your feeling towards the end? There, you must have been really disappointed to, you know, to have to sit on the side and watch the games and 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 yeah, watch us my, my, almost. My make feeling. It. Yeah, my feelings were uh, kind of like when I came in, there was near the bottom. So it was kind of like a, just try to finish as high as we could. But to be honest, as we started, like you say, we put picked up momentum. We started actually picking up a lot of results. And then you could see us catching and catching teams. And then you we kind of got the belief towards the end that we could actually do it. Before, it was kind of, let's finish as high as we can. And then it, it was... They'll be catching them now. We can actually do this. And it's such a, so gutting just to miss out, really. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? It, if we take that momentum into next season, I think we're going to do really, really well. And already there's a really good feel and a good positive vibe around the club from the players yeah. that I've met so far and I've interviewed and the feedback that I'm getting from the fans as well about the signings, the new signings, and the, the fact that we've re-signed players like you that have committed once again to Leatherhead, which... Yeah have made the fans really, really happy. So it's a really good vibe around, around the whole club at the moment, which is brilliant. Yeah, the, 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 since I come into the football club, uh, I felt very welcome. I felt like the club is kind of a sleeping giant, so to speak. Um, and I just feel the people behind the scenes, they're good people, and I think they need a bit of success. And hopefully we can bring that this season. Okay. Um, but to be so proud of so a couple of questions I want to ask you, not necessarily football related, but you're a key figure in the in the changing room. So let's talk about characters. One of the questions I haven't asked him on yet. So um, you're gonna to have to be honest with me here, right? So yeah, who's the real big characters in the changing room? Uh, I think everybody's got their individual um, characters that bring a lot to the team. Uh, big characters. Dave Tarpey's a big character. 
Um, Fikayo is a massive ca- character, even though he's not a big speaker, but his, mm. his performances do his speaking. Um, yeah, there's lots. There's a Serene's a big character. Yeah. Um, and the players that you've signed, we've signed. I know Gus is a big character. Fabio is a big character, and Cookie's a big character. But then you've got, on the other hand, the likes of Omar, Dan Hector, who their performances raise the game. I don't want to leave no one out, but yeah, they're all, yeah. all, all big characters. So, so, so is, no- the, is there a... Okay, so let's just slightly change that question. So is there a... Who's the funny guy in the change room? Who's the clown, if you like? Otherwise, I won't use the word clown, because that sounds a bit harsh, but no, the one clown, that's the, clown, the, the joker. Clown is, clown is a great word for this guy, and he <laughs> knows he's coming, Louis Collins. Right, he, okay. He is the class clown. Right, can that, why? When you got, you got to back that up. It's his character. It's his right. character. He's okay. a great guy. Great guy. Good. What about, um, okay, let's just try something different. So what about dress sense? I mean, I know you see him in their tracks. Who's, who's, who do you look at? Him? What are those? You know, have got the outrageous pair of shoes on or whatever. Yeah, Luke Fair has got the worst dress sense. And Does so is, I think their clothes cost a lot of money, but they look terrible. Mm. Might be snide tonight, mate. <laughs> might have got you know, dressed you never, Yeah, you never sure. know, mate. Blackwater Market, mate. Half the price, yeah. if that. Yeah. A quarter of <laughs> yeah. the price. You never know. You never know. No, exactly. So, so you're looking forward to next season? Yep, can't wait. Um, one question I haven't asked you is, what football team do you support? Barcelona. No, come on, seriously. No, Barcelona. You can ask anyone. Do you support Barcelona? Yeah. <laughs> you're not a glory hunter. Not much. No, no, no. You support, why, why Barcelona? Because when I was younger, I don't know if anyone would remember this, but it used to be five channels on the TV. Yes, and Channel 5 yeah. wrote the Spanish TV. That's right. But I used to think, being a bit of a silly kid, that Barcelona was in this country. So I grew up thinking, watching Barcelona, and then uh, kind of stuck. So, right, okay. And you've stuck with them ever since? Yeah, yeah, just stuck with them, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's that's different. I mean, I got I got uh, told that you know there was one um, Fabio. He said that yeah. uh, he 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 picked his I think it was Portuguese side. Yeah, he's, he got, I think he sport, sport in Lisbon. Yeah, because he didn't want to tell me that he supported Arsenal. Yeah. So, are you sure you're not on a secret Arsenal fan? Like the rest no, of definitely not. Definitely not. No. Right, no. Okay, I'll leave it there. No. I, won't, I won't push you on this. <laughs> get it right. Yeah. So, any messages for the fans? Any sort of well, actually, before that, what, memories of last season. Was there a, a moment where you walked off and you were really buzzing? One particular moment that stood out for you, obviously, before you picked up your injury. Yeah, mine was probably. Um, I'm not sure what team. I think it might have been some Sutton Common Rovers. We were playing at home, and I think we went behind, and um, the place was. We went three three, and I think we won four three. Dave Tarpy scored late on. That was against one of the teams at the bottom that caused us problems. And we come back and we won. It showed a lot of character. But the thing that was most pleasing for myself was the fans were right behind us. And they pushed that ball in the back of the net. And that's what we need this year. That's what we're going to need. Um, no team just turns up and wins anything. you got to have the fans on your side and a little bit of luck. And hopefully we could just push it up, push on. Brilliant. And listen, on that note, any special messages for the fans? No, I just hope they come out in their numbers, push us through, push us through games and um, stick with us. Because, That's uh, brilliant. Hope- and what I will remind them for those that are watching this video, because I'm going to put this out tonight, Sunday night, by the way. Um, yeah. Don't forget to grab those early bird season tickets. You've only got till the, I think it's the end of June, something like that. Can't remember the date exactly off the top of my head, but grab them and save some money. Yeah. Definitely. Kenny, listen, appreciate you giving up your time on the Sunday with your family. Really do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you and all of the new players and the existing players back down at Fetch and Grove very soon, my friend. Thank you very much, Simon. Really yeah, appreciate you, it. You take care. Thanks very much for joining take me. Care. Cheers, Kenny. Bye, mate. Bye, mate. Bye, bye.